Hey guys, what's up? It's Mr. Kane Productions, and welcome to a new Hearts of Iron 4 modding video. Today we are going to be creating our first country, and I'm going to show you all of the basic things you need just to get them into the game. And maybe in a later tutorial we can go through like creating a leader and creating a flag, etc, etc. But we're just gonna get one into the game. There's a couple things we're going to want to do before starting here. First off, make sure you have your mod folder open. And then secondly, open a new tab in a file explorer and go to your local C drive. If you installed Hearts of Iron 4 in the default place, you're going to want to go to your C drive, program files 86, scroll down to Steam, and scroll down to Steam apps, common, Hearts of Iron 4, and then just stay in this folder now we're going to want to open up our mod folder and now once you're in here we're going to want to copy a few files first we're going to want to create a new folder in our mod called common then go into your common folder and make two new folders one called countries and another called country underscore tags under a country tax folder, we're going to want to copy this 00 underscore countries .txt and paste it into this folder. Then under our countries folder, basically this stores the map graphic for all of the countries in the world. So as you can see, just from the Belgium, it'll give it its RGB color and the culture for like when it's creating new leaders and new commanders and things like that so just copy a small country i'm going to choose albania here and we're going to do Control c and Control v just like this now open it up and you can change the rbg color to anything you want i'm just going to keep it at its default all right guys so once you've done that go to your countries tags folder and drag this zero zero underscore countries into sublime text here now at the very bottom, I'm going to do shift three and create some number symbols because the game will not read this as anything. It's a good way to space your code out. Now just take whatever country is above and just do control C and then control V. There's a couple things we're going to want to understand here. For example, these three first letters right here are the tag. You want to have a tag for every country you make. And this is just the way for the game to read like it's troop numbers it's um it's just like a way for the game to get your country and find it we're going to change ours to tut for tutorial and we're going to want to change our directory here so as you can see it's going to say under common right here and then it's going to say countries and you want to name this exactly as you have it here so for us ours is tutorial.txt do not forget this txt or else it will not read it let's get rid of that extra t there just again make sure that your tags are not the same as any of the others and that should be all you really need for that folder so just control s and exit out now go back to your main youtube tutorial folder and we're going to make a new folder inside that called history and then we're going to want to go to our Hearts of Iron folder right here. And then under History, we're going to want to click in there and create a new folder called Countries. And create another one called States. There we go. So once we have these two folders, open up Countries. And just copy and paste one of the minors in here if you do a major there's gonna be some ideas and stuff like that so I'm just gonna go with Albania again keep it consistent basically we're gonna to want to rename this folder as our tag and then the name of our country right here so for us it's tut dash tutorial and now we can just drag this into sublime text and open it up Right, so now once we're in Sublime Text here, there's a couple things you're gonna see. You're gonna see this capital, this OOB, your starting technology, and your politics of your country. You're also gonna see the amount of convoys you have and some leaders it creates. But we're not really gonna worry about most of this right now. So I'm just going to 
comment out the OOB, which is the troops, and I will explain that in a later tutorial. And then the capital is just going to be our home state. Now we're going to want to change our ruling party and politics. What you see represented right here is just basically the circle graph. So we're going to go ahead and have ours be 50% fascist and let's say 10 neutrality. So that's 60. And then we're going to want to have 20 and 20. So that should be 100. You want this to equal 100 because it is the circle chart. Now under our ruling party, we're going to change this to fascism. And under our leader right here, we're going to just comment all of this out because we do not want this leader. We don't want the same guy as Albania. And that should be good. Under this field marshal, we're going to comment him out too. You can always just delete this, but I figure just in case we use this uh, to create a template, um, we might as well just comment it out. All right, guys, once you're done with that, we're not going to save yet. I mean, it's OK if you can, because we're not going to enable our mod just here. But we're going to want to run Hearts of Iron 4 with nothing enabled, just the debug mode on, which we set in the last video. Uh, so make sure you have that on, but no mods enabled. So once we're in the game here, make sure you have the debug mode and the nudge that appears. Then we're going to want to press single player, new game, whatever start date. It doesn't really matter. And then pick any country in the world. It really doesn't matter. So I'm just going to pick like whatever this country is. Right. So once we are in the world here, we are going to want to go under the states map mode. And we are going to choose a few states for our country. So right now, I recommend getting like a writing utensil out or something just so you can record the state numbers. Okay, guys, so I have my writing utensil now and I know where I want to place this tutorial country. We are going to place mine in Ireland. It doesn't matter where you place yours, any state, any multiple states, it doesn't matter. Just choose a few states. And the way you know the state number is control alt and then you hover over the states so northern island and the third one down says state id parentheses northern island and you want to record that three digit number the state id for all of the states that you want all right guys so once you have your states we are just going to exit out of the game here and now under our common like steam apps folder we're going to want to go to the hearts of iron 4 history and states then as you can see here we have every state in the game with the number of the state and then the name of it right beside it so all you want to do is scroll down to the state numbers so for me my, i chose states 119 113 134 and 135 once you've done that you want to control c and then control V under the states in your mod folder. And then just take those states and drag them into sublime text. Right, so now we're gonna wanna do a couple things with these states, but first choose a capital under the tutorial dash tutorial thing um, or the tag dash country name file. We're going to want to choose a capital right here. So mine, I'm just going to make our capital Northern Island. So 119 and that's it. Now you can control save right there. So under Northern Island here or state 119, change the owner to the tag of your country and then the core to the tag of your country. We saw before Ireland and England had a core there so multiple people can have cores but if you are creating your country generally speaking you're not going to have multiple cores now under the buildings here you can change a lot of things so for example for the zombie mod I changed the infrastructure to 10 on each state and the arms factory to 10 so I'm just gonna do that for Northern Ireland but I will leave the rest of them default save on here and do the exact same thing for each state you have so remember the owner and the uh, core all right guys once you're done with that make sure you've saved everything and you should be 
almost good to go if we run up the game now if we run up hearts of iron 4 and we select our mod we will see that our country is there but we're missing we're missing one thing you can see while we are loading up the game we get an error log and all this says is that we do not have the flags for our country which is completely fine because we have not made them yet anyways if we go under single player new game and pick any start date here we're gonna see that we have our country but it says tut underscore fascism so it says our tag and underscore the the um, leading ideology but our country is there so why has this happened It's because we haven't made our country have a name yet so if we just leave the game here we're gonna want to create a new folder called localization in our main directory so localization and then open that and just scroll down select countries underscore i underscore english not country because that is not what we want countries <laughs> then we're gonna want to do control c control v and then drag it into sublime text here we're just going to maximize this and all this does is it creates the name for every country so we are just going to scroll down to the bottom here create a few of these number signs and just really select um we're gonna want to select this i guess ddr fascism right here this is all we need to name our country right here and what we want to do is change the tag and the name and also make sure this right here this fascism is communism neutrality democratic or fascism depending on your country type so keep in mind if a coup is thrown then it will result to like tut underscore democratic if you don't have a name for it but right now we're just going to do fascism since that is our ruling party so we're going to change the tag here to tut and we're going to change the country name to youtube land okay and that should be all we need so we're going to control save that and exit out of here then we are going to want to open up hearts of iron 4 make sure your mod is enabled hit play and once you get in single player new game january and ta-da youtube land was created so this country is completely playable but you will notice a few things of course we get this little air log right here which is fine northern island has too many buildings that's okay and then we have our flags but if we actually look at northern island here we can see we added 10 military factories and 10 infrastructure so that's what we changed there we'll see that we have this random leader and we have no flag and we are 50 percent fascist and we change these variables remember and we also have no troops so if we look down here and click details we have zero troops so next episode what do you want to see first do you want to see troop counts making new troops do you want to see flags do you want to see uh creating leaders or anything like that you want new loading screens new um yeah like new loading screens new titles whatever it doesn't really matter just let me know what you want to see in the next episode anyways until then thank you all so so much for watching thank you all for the support on the last video and I guess I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.